Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to cover the advanced features of list groups. So the first feature we're going to look at is linked items, which allow you to select a certain item, make it active. So it essentially looks like the user has clicked on it and selected that item. So the user knows what they're on. To do this, we're just going to copy and paste this paste it down here and to make one active so I'm going to make property free active you simply put a class of active refresh and there we go we've got one as active it's that simple the next feature we're going to show you is button items and to do this it's going to copy and paste again I'm just going to change this to a div change this to a oops a daisy change this to a div and what we're going to do is change this to button we need a type of button copy and paste this everything else in the opening tag can remain the same because we still need the classes we just need to change this to button save that refresh so if we scroll down we can hover over these and it's essentially emulating a clickable item uh, we haven't add, added any functionality in for clickable items but that's dependent on your website you might be thinking why do you want to do this the reason is because some of those items might be clickable for example in our website sonar learning we actually use a combination of labels which are right here the regular list group the highlighted items or the linked lists and the button items so what you can do you can go on to your like profile and then select a particular part of your profile by clicking it and it reloads the page but when it reloads it the one that you clicked is now selected so that's an example of where you can use it if you want to check that out go on sonarlearning.co.uk if you don't already have an account it's free to create one just create one just uh, like a few posts post a few things or just do some, something within the community in questions and answers and then go to your profile section and you can check that out in well live the next thing we're going to show you, actually, before I do anything else, I'm going to add a comment because there'll be a link to the source code just so you know what is going on. So, linked items. Button items. And we're going to copy and paste this. I'm going to change this to disabled item so the next property is going to be disabled you can do it for the list item as well or the button inside the div any one will do so if for example we're going to make this one disabled so save that refresh scroll down and as you can see when we hover over it it shows us the no entry plus it's grayed out because maybe the user is not allowed to access this particular part of our website and the final thing we are going to cover is copy and paste this is custom content so let's get rid of that so if we refresh at the moment all we have is just some well, regular text in there but what if you want to add like a title you want to add some text in there bootstrap easily allows you to do that so if we want to add a header i'm going to do h4 and the header needs to have a class of list dash group dash item dash heading and inside here we just put our heading and put heading one next we're going to put some text so like the body and for this you need a class of list dash group dash item dash text and inside here it's going to go to web browser 
type in random paragraph generator I do use this website a lot or oh, random paragraph generators a lot yeah that looks a okay so let's copy that paste that in and what we'll do we'll just copy this and paste it into every single item change this to heading 2 actually it might be quicker if I copy it this way let's see how well this works oh yeah that worked exactly the way we wanted so let's just change this to heading 3 heading 4 we won't bother changing the body because we can show you what's happening without changing the body refresh and as you can see they look significantly different from the regular list groups we have title in there we have text in there you can add images you can add essentially what you want if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php there'll be a link in the description to that there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video please rate comment and subscribe as it really does help out plus it also lets us know what you like and what you don't like so we can improve our future videos and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a good day